Just a few years ago, the Washington Redskins had one of the better receiving cores in the NFL. They had Pierre Garçon, they had Deshaun Jackson, and they had an up and coming receiver in Jamison Crowder. Well, since then, Washington has lost all three of those starters. Using a mixture of Josh Dawson, Terrell Pryor, and Paul Richardson, the team hasn't exactly had anybody that's really lit the world on fire. They desperately needed help. In the most recent NFL draft, they selected Terry McLaurin out of Ohio State. For all intents and purposes, I don't normally get super excited about a rookie mid-rounder. However, this year I think is the exception to that rule. So far in his first two games, McLaurin has gained 187 yards and two touchdowns. During this time, he has shown a high football IQ and he's flashed a veteran savviness to his route running. I've been super impressed with everything that I've seen. Let's illustrate this by looking at a play against the Eagles in the first quarter. On second and 20, McLaurin lined up as the outside receiver on the left side. He ran a 12-yard curl route, finding space between the Eagles' cover three defense. For the first five yards of his route, McLaurin started at about 80% speed, and then he turned on the Jets to push his defender backwards. Watch how quickly Roswell Douglas flipped his hips to start running. He clearly feared that he'd get beat deep, and this allowed McLaurin to then break down at the 37-yard line, gaining 13 yards on the play. Something that really stands out to me on this one is how he used variable speed in order to create a separation. That's a savvy move and it preys on the fact that accelerating after five yards is a hallmark indicator that he's going to run a go route. Douglas expected that and that's why he flipped his hip so quickly to run down the field. Now, if you're wondering why he's so scared of this rookie, it's due to the simple fact of how fast McLaurin tested the combine. He ran a 4.35 40 yard dash, so he obviously has speed to kill. Fearing this speed is definitely reasonable and you'll see why on this next play. In the second quarter, McLaurin lined up as a solo receiver on the left side. His receiver Douglas once again took outside leverage. After the snap, McLaurin pressed outside and then he turned on the gas. On this post route, he completely torched Douglas getting wide open down the field. Keenan placed the ball, leading him perfectly and McLaurin extended to reel it in for the 70 yard touchdown. The crazy thing was that this exact same thing almost happened again. In the middle of the third quarter, the Redskins dialed up another deep post route using McLaurin's deep speed, and he easily burned past his defense. Unfortunately, Keenum overthrew him, and the pass fell incomplete. The nickname Scary Terry has been given to Terry McLaurin for this crazy speed. What fascinated me the most, however, was not how fast he can run. What really gets me is how much Jay Gruden clearly trusts him in this offense. He's already specifically designed plays utilizing his skill set. McLaurin is great at running in-breaking routes, and the Redskins love using him in that capacity. This is rare for a rookie, let alone a third-round pick. He's more than just a role player in this offense. On this play against the Cowboys, Washington ran a dagger concept against this cover three defense. Now, if you aren't familiar with this play design, a dagger concept features a seam route, a dig route at about 15 yards, and an underneath route to occupy the linebackers. This creates a high-low read on the defense. The quarterback will start at the seam, progress to the dig, and then will finally work his way underneath. Against a cover three defense, this concept is extremely hard to cover. After the snap, Paul Richardson ran the seam route using his rules for middle of the field open versus middle of the field closed. If the defense is in cover one or cover three, where there's a safety standing in the center of the field, this is considered close. Richardson will run to the opposite seam. On the other hand, if the defense is in cover two or cover four, meaning there are two safeties deep, this is considered open. Richardson will then run his path through the middle instead. As we already discussed, the Cowboys were in cover three, meaning that Richardson is going to take the opposite seam. He runs it correctly on this play and he pulls the safety farther down the field. While this is all happening, McLaurin ran his dig route breaking at 15 yards. His goal is to find the open space underneath the deep safety while simultaneously getting enough separation on his cornerback. If you remember what I said before that this play is very hard to defend if you're in cover three, this route is exactly why. The outside cornerback is out leveraged after the snap and he has to be able to recover in order to chase his play down. That's incredibly hard to do. Looking at Case Keenum, he took a seven step drop, ran play action, and then read the play starting deep. He saw that Richardson was covered as expected, so then he went to McLaurin. He was open over the center of the defense and Keenum's placement allowed him to catch the ball for a big gain. Now, before we move on from this play, I think there is still room for improvement from McLaurin's standpoint. I think he rounded his route too much at the break, I think he drifted too far up the field after he broke, and I also think he could have let a defender with better positioning back in this play due to how he caught this ball. He caught it with his stomach, and he didn't attack it out of the air with both hands like he should have. This is something I noticed as I went through his college film, and it's something I noticed even during the first two weeks of the season. 
I feel like he can still definitely improve in that aspect. While we'll get to another area of improvement shortly, another thing that I really like about McLaurin is how physical he is when the ball's in the air. He aggressively attacks balls in order to win his matchups. He made a pretty awesome catch against the Eagles. He went up for it, jumping in front of his defender, and he pulled it in for a 22-yard gain. This tracking and physicality is something I really like about his skill set. I think it adds another dimension to his play style, and I feel like he carries that same mentality whenever he's asked to be a clear-out receiver in this offense. On this post-dig combo against the Eagles' cover six defense, he was able to pull coverage and open up Paul Richardson over the center of the field. He aggressively ran his post route, and due to the coverage rules of the two quarter defenders on the left, this helped open a gap large enough for a big completion. While I mentioned earlier that McLaurin sometimes relies on his stomach to make catches, I think another area he needs to improve on is beating tight man coverage. He struggles to create separation with the defender head up. I think he has a decent jab step to beat press, but he needs to become more subtle with his breaks and he needs to use that same variable quickness in order to win one-on-one. -on -one. I want him to get better at selling a horizontal release where he goes vertical, and I want him to get better at selling a vertical release in order to win horizontally. This will help him win more consistently. In my opinion, McLaurin is already one of the best receivers on this roster due to his intelligence in his route running. He is already effective against zone and off-man coverage, and if he continues to work on his craft, he should take the next step in his development and will truly become the scary terror this offense desperately needed. With football season finally here, my bookie has generously agreed to sponsor this video. If you are like me and you're looking for a great sports book to wager on this season's games, look no further. They have the best lines around, and their easy to use interface makes it extremely easy to find all the current week's matchups. I strongly recommend giving them a try. For a limited time only, and if you use my promo code SAMUEL100, my bookie will double your first deposit up to $1,000. Go ahead and use that code to take advantage of this offer. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. Also, if you want to keep this channel going, you can support me through my Patreon account and you can follow me on Twitter at Samuel R. Gold.